so yeah today devops mock interview day 10 this is the final mock interview which you and me will perform which is a theoretical nothing but i am asking you you are answering me so from next mock interview i will ask you a directly i will give you a task you need to share your screen and you need to write that okay now just please try to introduce yourself hello everyone myself satish i have five plus years of experience in devops in that i calculate key proficiency in uh, several key tools for the modern software development and deployments in which we get we have used for the code coverage co version control and config code management uh, secondly we have used jenkins to automate the build test and deploy process it it will give the increase of productivity and ensure the consistency thirdly we have used docker docker we are using for the de uh, up deployment of applications it will give the seamless uh, seamless deployment across the uh, different environments uh, for thirdly uh, we have used uh, kubernetes with the help of kubernetes we we have uh we are managing the uh, containerized containerized applications and we can uh do the some scale uh, auto scaling for uh, we, when we are facing any issues with the uh, uh, servers and and fifthly we are using the terraform uh for terraform we are using to provisioning and uh, infrastructure as a code which it will gives it will give the automation of the cloud resources and we are using ansible for the code code management and uh, configuration management tool for application deployments apart from these tools we have i have worked on some other tools like uh, uh, sonar queue for the quality gates and uh, quality gate checks and code coverage code smells as well uh, uh, for vulnerabilities and security we are using trivi uh, for continuous deployment we worked on argo cd and for uh, monitoring we uh, we have used Prom prometheus and grafana for uh, prometheus we are collecting the logs and we, uh, for grafana we are using for virtualization uh, uh thanks for the give uh, that's it thanks for the giving the opportunity for okay so yeah what are you are telling right it's not interesting okay no you are just telling for the sake of myself if you perform like this then it will be difficult can you able to see my screen yes okay so how you will handle deployment failures first question Yes. Any anyone so, anyone can able to answer. Let's uh, if, if you got any failure deployment failure, how you will handle that? Okay. Um. Basically, I'm gonna uh, uh, log in into my uh, into my pod. I will. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna look at CTO uh, um, logs uh, to see the logs as to what's going on. And I'm, I'm going to log into my Jenkins pipeline uh, to see what is going on as well. Uh, going into the um, into the console to see what is going on. Then I'll troubleshoot from there. Okay. How you will address performance issues? Uh, we can address the performance issues like we can. We are getting the, we are collecting the logs, and we are, uh, we are doing some CPU, uh, CPU utilization, CPU utilizations and memory utilization as well. Yeah, by checking in the uh, monitoring tools like Prometheus and Grafana. And okay. And how you will resolve configuration management issues? I mean, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check into the log as well uh, to see what the issue is. Then I'm, I'm going to use uh, Ansible 
um, to, I mean, um, solve any problem that arises. Okay. If you have a database connectivity problems, how you will troubleshoot? I mean, I'm, um, I'm going to log in into my Kubernetes cluster as well to see um, what issue is uh, as I raised the database um, to see if, um, yes, I'm going, I'm going to see, especially for the stateful sites, I'm going to uh, check into the Kubernetes cluster how to see what the issue is. It's just a common question, not a particularly on Kubernetes. So whatever the ask, I'm asking, right? It's a common question, not okay. a particular tool basis. So configuration okay. management, it might be depends upon the your Linux server configuration, right? So database connectivity might be like uh, there will be databases which is already working in companies. At that time, how you will if if you cannot able to log into the database, at that time how you will just troubleshoot that. I will check the credentials and we'll check the connectivity with uh, with the flow. Okay, how you will manage the security incident response? Today's question will be a little bit confusing and it's a theoretical, not a, a DevOps, okay? Which is a scenario based today's. So, shall we take other question? Like, for suppose if there is a high availability issues, how you will troubleshoot? These are the mo like most commonly asked questions. Okay. High availability issue, yes. I'm gonna, um, I mean, I'll share the logs for high availability. Then uh, I'm, I'm gonna declare more, uh, more servers uh, by using auto scaling. Super, so, uh, yes. Now, what, like, for suppose if you are working on a code, while you are in integrating the code, nothing but from one branch to another branch, if you are integrating the code, so how you will, like, uh, work with conflicts? Um, I'm going to, this is going to be resolved manually. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to check into the, um, I'm, I'm going to look into the conflicting files, then I'll open it in a test editor, um, then I uh, will we'll, um, we'll discuss with my team. Um, then we will merge the uh, the right one back um, using uh, the necessary Git workflow. Okay. How you will work on resource allocation problems? So you are trying to allocate a resource, but it's not allocated so how you will work with type of this type of issues and how you will work on backup and recovery failures mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to check the log i'm going to make sure that uh, the backup system is working probably by recursively syncing or uh, maybe if it's in a Jenkins uh, pipeline, I can use a uh, team backup uh, to check to see what is going on. I mean, I, I, I can also clear the log as well. Okay. So, last one, application rollbacks. How you will take application rollbacks? So basically, I, I'm, I'm going to use the uh, blue green deployment uh, in doing application rollback, um, whereby uh, I'll have to to work in our um, application which is blue and green. So I'm any um on the um one of the one of the application is going to be A, while the other is B. So. I can shift the load balancer to the one. Once uh, it's working perfectly, then uh, now we, we, we will leave it there. But it, if there's any issue, uh, we can always go back to the previous one. Okay.
Okay. Shall we check the answers? Yes. So first question, how you will handle handling deployment failures? Okay. So when a deployment fails, my first step is to review the logs and error messages. Whatever Stephen said, it's right to identify the root cause. I check for common issues such as misconfiguration, network problems or code errors. If the issue is identified quickly, I resolve it and redeploy. Okay, if not, I roll back to the previous stable version to minimize downtime. Afterward, I perform a thorough root cause analysis and update our deployment process or script to prevent similar issues in the future. Okay, here I given you the full answer, but just I asked you sim like one line. I just want to check whether you can able to trigger. Okay, how do you address performance issues reported in production environment? Okay, where it is? Okay, to address performance issues, I start by monitoring system metrics using tools like Prometheus and Grafana. Yes, to identify any analogies. So whatever you said, Stephen, you are right. You, you will check for logs like that you said, right? So metrics or logs both are same. I also review application logs and traces to pin pinpoint performance bottlenecks. Common solutions include optimizing code, scaling resources, adjusting load balancers, and tuning databases. If necessary, I work with the development team to implement fixes and continuously monitor the system to ensure this issue is resolved and how do you resolve configuration management drift in your infrastructure so to resolve configuration drift I use configuration management tools like Ansible, Puppet or Chef to enforce desired state configurations I regularly run configuration checks and audits to, to detect drifts where a drift is detected I investigate the cause and reapply the correct configuration using our management tool so additionally I ensure that all changes go through version control and are deployed consistently across all environments so how do you troubleshoot database connectivity issues so to troubleshoot database connectivity issues i first check network connectivity between the application and the database server okay i verify that the database service is running and check for any firewall or security group rules that might be blocking access i also review database logs for any errors or warning Right, ensuring correct configuration setting in the application and database con connection strings is crucial. So if needed, I use database client tools to test connectivity directly. So first thing what you need to do, if there is any issues with the database connectivity, you need to check the security group, that is firewall. Or you need to check whether database is running or not. So this type of checks you need to check what is security incident like how do you respond to security incident reported by a monitoring tool. So upon receiving a security incident alert I immediately access the CVRT and scope of this incident. So I isolate affected systems to prevent further damage and gather relevant logs and data to an analysis like for analysis. I follow our incident response plan which includes notifying relevant stakeholders okay containing the threats eradicating the root cause and requiring affected systems after the incident is resolved i conduct a post mortem to understand what happened and implement measures to prevent future incidents okay this will comes under where sorry this post mortem turns and all so high availability issues like how do you ensure high availability of services so to ensure high availability i design systems with redundancy and failovers mechanisms right this includes deploying application across multiple availability zones okay high availability nothing but you need to deploy into multiple availability zones using load balancers and configuring auto scaling groups so whatever stephen said it's correct high availability nothing but auto scaling i also implement health checks and monitoring to detect and respond to failures quickly okay regular testing of disaster recovery processors and failover scenarios 
ensures our system can handle unexpected issues without significant downtime. One more thing, what is core integration conflicts? So like how do you enable core integration conflict in a CI/CD pipeline? Okay, when code integration conflicts arise, I firstly identify the conflicting change using version control system like Git. I communicate with the developers involved to understand the changes and collaboratively resolve the conflicts. This may involve merging changes, rewriting re code or adjusting test. Right, once resolved, I ensure the integration code passes all automated tests in the CSD pipeline before it is merged into the main branch okay resource allocation problem like how do you manage resource allocation issues in the cloud environment so you are talking about kubernetes but i am asking about the cloud so managing resources uh, like resource allocation issues involves monitoring usage and performance metrics to identify right or overburden resources underutilized or overburden resources i use cloud management tools to adjust resources dynamically such as resizing instance or adjusting auto scaling policies implementing quotas and budgets helps control cost regularly reviewing resource usage and optimizing configuration ensures or we can set alarms as well okay efficient utilization of cloud resources so backup and recovery failures so when backup or recovery process fails i first review logs and error messages to identify the cause so common issues include network problems right storage limitations okay backup whenever you not getting a backup it might be issue with the network it might be issue with the your local system because if there is no space then backup will not be going to perform right network problems storage limitations or configuration errors so i address these issues by fixing the underlying k cause and rerunning the backup or recovery process so ensuring that backups are scheduled and verified regularly and having multiple recovery points helps in minimizing data loss and downtime so last question how do you manage application rollbacks in case of deployment issues so to manage application rollbacks I ensure that we have a robust version control system and automated deployment scripts. So if a deployment causes issues, I quickly roll back to a previous stable version using these scripts. Right, I maintain a clear rollback plan and ensure that all dependencies are versioned and tested. So post rollback, I analyze the deployment failure to prevent recurrence and improve our deployment process okay so like this so in the next interview as i said i will directly ask you to write a script by sharing the screen you need to write that after that i will show you the i will show you the script here you can see answer a theory from tomorrow i will directly what I will do, I will directly add a script like this. Okay. Like this inside this, I will start at, I will start writing the script. Okay. So nothing but I will ask you as a task. You need to share your screen and you need to perform. So we have completed 10 mock interviews. That theory is enough. Now we need to enter into practical part and you will share your screen and you will whatever i ask you need to perform so next mock interview who want to perf like participate okay you need to share your screen let me stop the recording